everybody, it's Amy from CraftyMcFangirl.com and today we're going to be working in polymer clay. We're going to make all the pieces of candy that are needed for the Vanilla P. Vaughn Sweets cosplay inspired by Wreck-It Ralph. All of the materials for this project are linked in the description below the video, both on YouTube and at CraftyMcFangirl.com. You will need 48 black bobby pins, 4 black hair clips, Strong glue like E6000, yellow, green, aqua, brown, pink, red, and magenta polymer clay, star and heart mini metal cutters, and gloss glaze. I started by looking at screen captures from the movie trying to figure out the number, color, and styles of candy in Vanellope's hair. I also looked online at other cosplayers' research. I came up with 53 total pieces of candy, 19 circles, 24 sprinkles, 3 stars, 2 chocolate and mint rounds, 1 red licorice twist, 2 hearts, and 2 gummy bears. You can download a PDF of the exact colors and locations for each piece of candy by clicking on the link below the video. Part 1. Making the Rounds I rolled out small pieces of aqua, green, yellow, orange, red, and magenta clay and created small, flat, round candy using a piece of plastic straw. Once all of the pieces were stamped out, I flattened each one slightly before baking according to package instructions. Part 2. Making the Sprinkles Real candy sprinkles are much too small to fit on a bobby pin, so we're going to make our sprinkles a bit larger than actual size. Roll out snakes of magenta, green, orange, red, and aqua clay cut into inch long pieces. The pieces do not need to be exactly measured, they can all be a little different. Bake according to package instructions. Part 3 Making the Stars Roll out a small piece of yellow clay and punch out three small star shapes. Bake according to package instructions. Part 4 making the chocolate and mint rounds. Start with a ball of brown and a ball of green clay. Flatten both to the same width and height. Cut the circles in half and make two candies, half brown, half green. Cut the candy diagonally three equal times. Interchange every green triangle with a brown triangle. Lightly press the whole candy together to make it round again. Then. Pick up the candy and hold the center lightly. Gently twist the mint away from you until you get a light swirl in the candy. Repeat this process on the second candy and then bake according to package instructions. Part 5. Making the Red Licorice Twist Roll out a large snake of red clay. Gently flatten the top with a roller, then trim the sides flat with a blade. Twist the snake into a licorice whip design. Create the ponytail holder shape, and then bake according to package instructions. Part 6. Making the Hearts Roll out a small piece of red clay and punch out two small heart shapes. Bake according to package instructions. Part 7. Making the Gummy Bears Using purple clay, form the gummy bear body shape. Add ears and legs. Create the face and add arms. Repeat this process with the green clay. Bake according to package instructions. Part 8. 
glaze the mints, gummy bears, and licorice twist. The other candy pieces do not need to be glazed. They will look more realistic if they are matte. Part 9. Glue candy to clips and bobby pins. Once all your pieces are baked and cooled, glue them to the hair clips and bobby pins using a strong glue like E6000. Once the glue is completely dry, you're done. Your candy pieces are ready to go in your hair or on a wig for your cosplay. Thanks for watching this tutorial. The next part of the Vanilla P. Von Schweetz cosplay project is how to make her sweatshirt.